Hello my crafty friends, it's Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos and I'm here with lesson three in our series for newer or not as experienced users to the Canvas Workspace downloadable version. So the first thing that I'm going to do is launch the Brother Canvas Workspace program on my Mac and you would do the same thing on any of your operating systems. So in today's video, I'm aiming to show you how to locate a free file from the internet, how to download it to your computer and bring it into Canvas for edit editing and then saving it ready to be used or transferring it via the Wi-Fi to your scan and cut machines. So let's get started. So. As you know, I have a website that's my blog and it has um, lots of free files over there. So I'm just going to head to my blog first of all. So Beverly, oh, let's have a new page. Beverly 10 Blogspot. So I've just typed in Beverly, B-E-V-E-R-L-E-I-G-H 10 Blogspot and this is where you can see all of the files that are on my blog. So if we look, there's also some personal things on there so you can either choose to read them, have a look at my pictures as you wish. Um, and then you can see in each of the months what you can find there so the six days there must be the 12 days of christmas on that bit so if we're looking to say october that's when i did my first sort of soiree into and then we've got all the halloween ones and so on so we're just going to pick one a random one to download and I think I'll go for the baby bottle file so once you've picked what you want to download so on this you can see it makes a card or you've got several embellishments that you could use plus some words and that's the file okay so now if we go back we can see oops I've gone to Halloween again close just close that and it tells you on my blog, there's always a link to how you can make the file yourself on my YouTube channel. And also you can download the file either as an FCM or SVG. So the, 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 this file can actually be used for other users that have can have machines that as long as they can you read SVG files. But because we're using Brother, I'm going to download the generic FCM file. And you would do that by clicking on the here which will take you across to a place where you can download for free. So down, click download and that will download. It puts it straight into my download folder and it may well download to yours or it, you may, may need to say where you wish for it to download. And if it does ask that option, I suggest you choose desktop, then it's easy to find. So that's all we need from the internet for now. So what I need to do now is go back to Canvas and I'm going to go on the SVG icon on the side here because I want to import a, an image from my hard drive, if you will. The one that I've just downloaded in downloads will be at the top because it's the newest file. So I can click on that and open it. Okay. Now, it may well be... that we just want the bottle so we could then delete what we don't want and that's not deleting it permanently it's just deleting it from this file and now we've got the bottle and I might just need it for a baby card embellishment I might want to do something on the top layer like for example I could if I wanted go on the um, shapes choose a shape or I could put text into it, etc. Those are the things that we could do. What I, what I am going to do is just to add a little bit of interest and give you a little bit of more scope for what you can achieve. I'm going to bring on a heart just to show you how we can, you can take a file and then make it your own by changing it in any way you wish. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink the heart right down. And at the moment, if we fill the bottle with colour, just put it into something like fairly light because we don't want anything mad. And I'm going to put the heart on top. So the heart has no colour. So at the minute it's showing as that. And I'm going to put it in the middle like so. And what you could do is then, if you wanted, line it up. So we're going to go on edit. And that's the second one on this side, edit. And centrally, to centralise it on the vertical axis. Now I don't necessarily want it in the middle for the whole shape. But what I can do then, if I want to punch that out, is remove the overlap. And then we've got that shape punched out. So whatever's underneath. So what if that's your base card? And we give that a colour. We can then put that as our matting layer on top. And you could put the baby's date of birth and name, whatever. Okay. So that's how you would download the file and how you might edit it. You could also create some text for it if you wanted. So we could choose a nice font and write the word baby. So baby and maybe boy. Just because I've been working on a baby boy's um, card for a person, a friend, personal friend who's going to be expecting a baby early on this year. Uh, and I'm just going to weld it because what we want to do is what we don't want is all those letters cutting separately. So to see clearly what's happening, if I zoom in now, at the minute, they're not welding together because they're not actually touching. So if you wanted to definitely use that file, that's definitely the one you want, but you want to actually make it so that it is welded together then what you can do is break the letters apart so now you can move each one individually and just scooch them along until they're just about overlapping so i don't want them to be too close just close enough so that we can get that weld and you'd repeat that with the rest of the letters i'm only just going to do baby here select the baby and then weld so obviously then you would carry on and weld the rest of the letters but i'm just going to do baby for today and you can see now if we zoom right in the b and the a and the a and the b and the b and the y are all now welded together so what you could do now if we zoom back to matt so i'm just going to click on this or we could go on window uh, sorry display and zoom all my onto the mat so everything fits on the mat i'm going to click on this and we're going to, again, make it a colour so we can see what we're doing. So we'll make it a slightly darker colour. And if we wanted, we could actually get it to punch the word out of the bottle. So again, I'm just going to go on this one here, the second one down, which is edit and centralise it on the vertical axis. And whilst everything's selected, I'm just going to double check that that one is on top of the baby file. Because I have a feeling, oh yes, it is on top. And if it's not, you would have to send it to the top. So you could look at your layers to see where it is and you can see the baby is on top. You can just drag it down. So now it's not, drag it back and now it's back to the top of the stack and that's where we need it to be. So we're going to go on to edit again, second option down. And we're going to click this icon here, which is, no, sorry, not the icon, the end icon if you want it to punch out subtract and as you can see now it's punched out the word baby alternatively if you didn't want to do that you could cut the word baby out of some cardstock and you could have this as your layer you could have this maybe stacked up so you've got a few on top of each other to give it a, be a bigger embellishment you could put a little bit of acetate at back of there and make it into a mini shaker and there's just lots of things you could do so that that's included in today's lesson how to locate a file how to download it and put bring it into brother canvas workspace it showed you how you can manipulate the file and make it your own design or a design of your choice and also the final step now is I'm going to file and save as 
and that will save it as a um i can't just think what it's called now but actually that saves it as the project file so you don't want to save it what you do want to do sorry is export fcm file so that will now save it as an fcm file so just call it a name like baby card or whatever baby bottle card whatever you think is going to be appropriate to you now i suggest that somewhere on your computer where, where you can find and this is just my suggestion entirely up to you obviously but what I like to do is put it in a file that I've made that is just for FCM files. So if I go to that file and I save all of my FCMs to that file, and that way then I know where they, they're all going to be kept. Now it will still say untitled here, which does throw some people thinking that it hasn't actually saved it. But if you check in the folder where you saved your um where you saved your work if you will when i go into my fcm file now in bev stocks just give me a second and if we arrange them by date i can see that the baby bottle card fcm is there so although it's not actually showing up as if i go to save it creates a cwprgj file like this ending here and that you can't open on your scan and cut. You do need it to be an FCM or an FCG. And I think that this stands for a Canvas Workspace Project file. So if I saved it as that, I could open it in Canvas Workspace on my computer, but I can't really do anything else with it. I do need to exp export it as an FCM. So you choose this file save as, sorry, I'm on the file save as, and then you choose export to FCM and then it will export it. Now this one, again, can be a little bit confusing um, if because before it was just click download when it was on the Internet. If you want to send that from your computer screen, from your computer as is from works, Canvas Workspace directly to your machine, you'd click on transfer file, FCM file via the Internet. And then it comes up with your choices uh, and it says the register machine is now ready to download the transferred file from the internet. So that's telling me now that my this file has been sent across to my brother scan and cut machine and it's there ready for me to actually go on and cut or do whatever, draw, whatever I want to do. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson three. We will be coming back with some more. If there is anything that you would like me to cover in these lessons for new newer users, please leave comments below in the comments box underneath the video. If you have enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe and tell your friends where to find me. And if I can, and, and I can answer your queries or help you out in any way on something that you want clarifying on the software, then I will do my best to get a video that includes that as well. So I'll make a note of the things that people want to see and try to include them in my videos. So I hope that's helpful. Um, as always, you can always head over to my blog, Beverly 10 Blogspot, Crafty Chaos's Blogspot. Um, all of those sort of just remember that the spelling for Beverly is a bit different um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you soon thanks and goodbye